Okay, gang, let's have a look at Day of Heroes, Lock and Load Tactical System from Lock and Load Publishing. This is a brand new, big three inch deep SOB, and we're gonna have a quick look at it. But I'm gonna pause right now because I should grab the original one so we can see the difference, because that would be cool. So let's keep going. Uh, here's the original one. And uh, I've actually got two copies of the original. Uh, one of them I'll definitely uh, be giving away soon, so pay attention to the blog and all that sort of fun stuff, or pay it forward, I might pop it in there as well. So you obviously can see the, the difference in the box size, and or depth I should say. Uh, let's have a look inside here. Uh, if you don't know, this is the modern uh, version of Lock and Load, and it has a, um, it's set in Somalia, two dice. A little bit of promotional stuff on the side there. All the designers and play testers and fun people like that. Let's see, anyone exciting on there that we know? Bunch of guys that we know there. All right. <clears throat> so, this is the, uh, looks like the terrain chart. We open it up, yep. The terrain chart is very different, uh, sorry, the terrain chart. The map is very different in this game because it's highly urbanized and the square hexes work really well here. It's uh, very cool. I know that music's on the background, but uh, I'm kind of jamming today. Been uh, working out and sweating, so I need a little Lena Del Rey in the background for me. So I'm not gonna get into the details of the game, obviously, because I just want you to see the different uh, uh, sheets here, and then you've got the uh, DFT, the uh, small arms fire results table, the ordnance fire results table. Uh, sorry, that's the modifiers there on the left. On the right, you've got the actual uh, wounds, casualties, shakes, eliminates, etc. Malay table down the bottom. And there's a fair bit of detail in here, mainly for uh, vehicles that are damaged and things like that. Uh, nothing too much, too hard to need to worry about. There's a couple of extra charts that they have now started doing, reference cards, that, you know, you can use them or not. Don't want to use them, you do this, you put it into the box just like that. A little sequence of play action, which is always good. And it, uh, one thing that can be tricky with lock and load is uh, tracking which units are reduced to what and what they, what they drop down to when they, when they do take a step loss. So this is a nice little uh, thing to have here right on the front here. Uh, the ordnance chart that's going to show you how to basically how to shoot blow up and kill pretty much everything a little reminder on how things work on the uh, square uh, Movement, so I like that very cool. All right, Somali ordnance is awesome because they have technicals with uh, Recallless rifles and 50k uh, 50 cal guns and all sorts of crazy shit. It's awesome. So uh, turn track gotcha great speed modifiers for modern uh, uh, games Based on size and type, you're going to uh, you're going to move. Uh, you're going to be moving faster. It's going to make it either make you harder to hit. Right. Let's check out the map. And the map. Uh, I've always loved the map for uh, this game. So here we go. Let me just set this down. I'm going to hold it up here. Well, so one a large one piece map. <clears throat> and this does not have any of the tracks on it, right? So it's a smaller format for us. And uh, nice nice size, right? Nice and convenient. Uh, let me just open up. Uh, compared to the... Uh, this is one of the few from the older system that is the older iterations of the system that is actually mounted. And here's the whole thing here. So you can see it's got this turn track and then terrain identifiers and all the rest of it on the bottom. Um, so it's basically total, uh, total, totally exactly the same. Uh, is that a thing? Can you say totally exactly the same? Uh, and anyway, and we just, they've just cut this uh, garbage off the bottom here and we're, we're off to the races. But the big difference is going to be rulebook. I'm going to go turn that music down. Right now I've adjusted that music. <clears throat> Rulebook, full color, uh, larger font, lots of diagrams, lots of artwork in here as well. I'm not going to go through all the rules. You know that if you've played before, you know what we're talking about. But there's a nice glossary in the back that, are, that is extra. <coughs> there's examples of play 
Uh, these are just replications of what's in the, char in the spare charts that come with the game. And uh, these, at being the modern rules, are going to deal with all the helicopters and aircraft and fun stuff like that. Uh, not going to AA and all that sort of good stuff, which I, I, I guess AA is in the, um, the other game as well, because they have aircraft in that as well, I believe. Uh, heat rounds, armor piercing rounds, all that sort of good stuff. So that's all the same. So that's, but that's full color. Now, not only that though, full color scenario booklet with the module rules in the front here. So, look at that, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, goo, just goo. All right, so we've got the Somali forces, special rules for them because they, they work in mobs and sometimes when you shoot through the mob, it pisses them off and then, uh, you know, squads will pop out of it or an RPG will nail you or all sorts of fun stuff will happen. Uh, there's cut. Uh, which is kind of a drug uh, that uh, gets them fired up. Uh, it's always fun. 40 mic mics. Gotta love those bad boys. Delta Force, Delta Snipers, Little Birds, Black Hawks, uh, all the different types of Humvees, and then all the scenarios in full color, right? <clears throat> Versus the original, which, you know, keep in mind, this was an earlier uh, release, so uh, I think they were still working out what they were going to be doing with the, with the game series. But here's, you know, here are the, the original scenarios, uh, just kind of laid out there with a big logo splashed on the back. There's a train effects chart with no, nothing on it, right? Not very conducive to ease of play, but, uh, you know, times have changed, right? And these are the, the module rules and the, the regular rules uh, for the for the modern series uh, from the older edition. So uh, you're just really nice layout. You know, the only thing I guess that would have been cool to add if they had the space here is to, uh, and, I, and by the way, the campaign game in this is just kick-ass, awesome, lots of fun. There's also, uh, if you like zombies, there's also a zombie scenario that you can pick up from one of the magazines, some of the older lock, Line of Fire, is it called Line of Fire? Uh, the Lock and Load uh, magazine has a zombie uh, battle in it where you've got to get off the map and that's actually a kind of fun game playing with the Delta Force dudes and whatnot. So uh, there we go. Oh look, so this has a half map uh, playable area on it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Some of the scenarios in here are very small and they're three turns long and they encompass a, a tiny area of the map so I'm not going to tell you specifically what just because I don't remember off the top of my head but for instance it might it might be just this little section and it might only be one or two turns in fact if I recall correctly and you can play it five or six times and try different strategies opposed which I've done with my friend Pete we've played the same scenario three or four or five times and you know one either way both way both sides uh Checking out different strategies, obviously a little bit of luck involved with the dice and all that sort of good stuff, but there you go. So that's the uh, scenario book, the map. Um, rumor has it there might be some expansions coming for this. That's why all these boxes are deeper and bigger and cooler, because uh, they're going to be putting uh, out perhaps some expansions, which would be nice. Now, uh, counters, the, the uh, punch and play counters, these all look like they're set very nicely. Let's see here, you know, sometimes you find some bad ones. You know, like that seven's a tiny bit over there. Can you see that there? That guy, he's a tiny bit over, but otherwise, that's the only, funny, that's the only one, huh? Looks like an actual layout uh, error more than a print error. And then you've got the Somalis. These dudes are VIPs, I believe. Yeah, they're VIPs. So you, um, you, you, yeah, in fact, they're, that's, that's a little bit hard to read in this light, but that says VIP there. And then you've got mobs. And these are all actually uh, easier to read when I hold them up for myself. I don't know what you guys can see. I probably should be paying attention to the camera, shouldn't I? You've still got uh, some, you know, you've got vehicles and tanks as well. Oh, well, here's another great scenario that uh, is in one of the Line of Fire magazines. I keep saying Line of Fire, is it Line of Fire? 
Anyway, it's the old Lock and Load magazine. It hit me up online and I can probably uh, find you a copy. There's a Marines versus Soviets in the at the in and around the Libyan embassy. Kind of when the balloon goes up, something something's going down. I forget what the diff, what the specifics are for the scenario, but you've got M1s and T80s fighting in this terrain. And squads and uh, you know, uh, 20 millimeter, uh, 40 millimeter uh, grenade launches and all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, it's on for young and old. Oh, I like the uh, target acquiring counters. That's cool. That's new. See that there. And let's see what else is different. Nothing else much different. Got the leaders down here. They're all the same guys. So very nice. Very nice. Good stuff. So you think you've got 10th Mountain, uh, Delta Force. Now, if I knew my icons, I'd be able to tell you what these guys were. But I don't know the army or the army insignias. And obviously, you've got the, pack, the, the wacky packies as well, um, <clears throat> who, who fight here. Here's Lieutenant Abbas. He's kind of a character. But great fun. This, to me, this is probably the second best module in the Lock and Load Modern Tactical series. Uh, it, it's rare as hen's teeth to find it. Uh, I, I, I've got two copies because I, I, I almost played out my first one in terms of uh, you know, the map breaking and all the rest of it. This is uh, well worth you getting, even if you're not a huge fan of the action in Somalia. And you may think that, gee, that there's no way that, uh, you know, Delta Force uh, is going to get, uh, uh, you know, have any trouble with the smiling mobs. They may kill a lot of them, but there's even more coming. And it, it's really gripping play, particularly opposed. It's a lot of fun to swap sides. Um, <clears throat> it, it takes a while to learn how to use the Somalis correctly, but... Um, it's it's really good game. So this is well worth uh, acquiring if you are interested in modern combat, and you can see the difference in the box art too. It's, uh, <clears throat> still has that uh, good good feel about it. There you go. All right, thought I'd give you a quick little look at that bad boy. Uh, we'll do some more uh, later this week as we go along. I've still got a bunch here to go. Bye.